so excited for today's video because we are going to do one of my most favorite things about architecture. Sleeping. No. Oversleeping. Uh, no. Like, what the hell? That's not even related to architecture. You know, you architecture, then you sleep. No, that's not how it works. How'd you get that idea anyway? Jeez. <laughs> you guys like my teacup? There's actually no tea in there, just water. I just drink water out of teacups. Uh, I'm fancy like that. <laughs> <coughs> so pumped for this video. Welcome back guys. So awesome to have you here for another hacks video. So a lot of you guys are requesting tips on scale model making. So guess what? Today's video will be about how to make a thesis proposal. Just kidding, it's about scale model hacks, tips and tricks, just like what the title says down there. But before we get to the hacks, let's talk about getting the proper doodads. And by that, I mean getting the right materials and tools down. So for scale model making, there's a ton of materials to consider. It's kind of like deciding what to name your pet tarantula. Should I name him Steve or should I name him Pinecone? Anyway, I'll just be discussing the most important essential tools that you must have when making scale models. There are many types of blades out there, but I have narrowed it down to my two favorite blade types, the hobby knife and the box cutter. I use the box cutter when cutting thick mats and materials and whenever I'm doing straight cuts because the box cutter offers more stability than the hobby knife, meaning you can apply more pressure to what you are cutting. Also, the blades are inexpensive and easily replaceable. On the other hand, I use the hobby knife for more detailed cuts like curves and for some thinner materials. For the ruler, I don't recommend using plastic ones as much as possible. Use metal rulers to avoid losing any of your fingers. Pro tip, when cutting a thick board, start with light pressure and cut many times, increasing the pressure as you go deeper. Make sure your blade is perpendicular to your material, not diagonal or bendy. That way, it'll be easier to glue right angles together. Lastly, replace the blades as often as possible. As soon as you see the blades dull, replace them immediately. Kinda like in Attack on Titan where they replace their blades super fast and super badass like ching. You know, you know. Attack on Titan fans know what I'm talking about. Now this is the most important tool or material that you guys need to buy. This one that I have here is called the self-healing cutting mat. It's basically like Wolverine or Deadpool in the sense that no matter how much you cut it or how many times you cut it, it will heal itself. You can probably use this as a shield in a sword fight. Don't use this as a shield in a sword fight. Anyways, this is super important because you need a solid even backing when cutting detailed parts of the model and you don't really want to be messing up your grafting table by cutting all over it. So yeah, cutting mat. Okay, now that we've got all that boring stuff out of the way, let's move to the exciting part, the hacks. Hack number one, I call this the stabby window technique. So I use this technique to cut out windows. For me, cutting out windows is one of the hardest part of any scale model. It requires patience and control. Both of those things I do not have. <laughs> the hardest part of cutting out windows is the corners. I always undershoot or like overshoot the window corner. So in order to do this technique, you guys need to buy a seven piece hobby knife set. It's available in any decent school supply store. So in this set, there's a chisel looking thingamabob. This thingamabob is what we are going to use to stab the board. So here's what you do guys. Stab the corners of the windows with this blade, making sure that the blade went all the way through. Then begin cutting the outline of the windows. By doing so, you no longer will overshoot the edges of the window. Okay guys, now that you know how to put holes on your windows, let's move on to hack number two. Hack number two, this hack is called the jig hack. I use this hack whenever there's a repetitive object in the scale model like a fence or some louvers. This is basically like doing the array command in real life. Here's how to do it. First, create the object that you will array. Now that you have done that, place it on top of your cutting mat then outline it with scrap material on three sides, making sure you leave a space to cut it from. Hack number three. So I call this hack the corner holder hack. So one of the things that I struggled with with making scale models is gluing the things 
at angles, you know, and keeping the walls upright. So what I did is I got a bunch of these dice. Is it called dices or dice or die? And anyway, I put masking tape all around it. I made sure that the masking tape around it is not that sticky by rolling it around my shirt or my forehead or part of my skin so that it will pick up some of my skin cells. And you know, my skin cells has unique property that makes tape less sticky. Or maybe I'm just oily, I, I don't know. Okay, we're, we're straying away from the subject. So I use these dice to prop up my walls at angles. So I stick these dice at the corners of the walls and the floor. So what the dice does is it helps the walls stand up while your glue is drying. Okay, so maybe some of you guys don't have boggle dice or any type of dice ready. So you could really make your own dice with styrofoam. Just make sure you cut it perfectly straight that all edges of the dice are at perfect right angles. So in order to do so, you guys are going to need the perpendicular cutter technique, which is hack number four. So this hack is used for cutting styrofoam boards or any light material like foam core at a perfect right angle. What you will need is a box with right angles on it basically any box ever made ever. You're also going to need some tape and a cutter blade. Now what you do is place the box on top of the styrofoam, then place the blade next to it, making sure the blade is all the way down to the bottom of the styrofoam. Now tape the blade into the side of the box and then it's ready to be used. So just align the box parallel to the line you will cut and cut away. Now you have perfect right angle cuts. Amazingly lean. That's, that's like a catchphrase I'm coming up with. It kind of sucks so never mind. Forget I said anything stupid. Moving on to hack number five. Hack number five. This technique is one of my forbidden lazy no jutsu techniques. Basically, uh, what that means is I invented this technique because I was super lazy. So what you are going to need is some sticker paper and the printer. So here's what you do. Print out the elevations and floor plans of the building that you are going to make a scale model of, including the material finishes. Make sure that they are perfectly scaled. Now trim those stickers, then stick them to your board of choice. Here I am using a cheap board because it's kind of cheap and I'm kind of broke, so yeah. Once you're done, just trace out the elevation or the floor plan and begin using the past hacks, you know, hack number one to four, to build your model. Okay, so this hack could also be used for windows where you just print out the window onto a PVC sheet or like an acetate or like a clear sheet. So I guess that's it guys. Just kidding, we have one more extra hack. Okay, extra hack time guys. Pew, 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 pew. I couldn't find the sound effects, so I'll, I'll just create sound effects with my mouth. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. <laughs> For this one, you are going to need some clear nail polish. So I use this hack whenever I want to make realistic wood things on my model, or basically, I want to make any shiny thing. So if you just print out wood onto a matte sticker, it's going to look mega fake. To make it more realistic, you guys are going to apply a layer of nail polish and boom! It looks like it's real wood with varnish and everything. So amazing, Lily, and that really doesn't work. I'll just move on from that catchphrase. <laughs> well, I guess that's it, guys. My six hacks to make your scale model making a little bit easier. If you liked this video and found it a little bit entertaining or slightly educational. Please like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy Lian. I will see you guys on my... Wait, I forgot to thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys on my next video. Flying peace! <laughs>